Today I'm going to show you a zero waste recipe that's changed the way I make so many cocktails. So if ever you've been making lime juice and you've been left with these and you've thrown them away, the little shells after juicing, the husks, then you're missing out on so much flavour. And I'm going to show you how to get everything you can from these. So from these five limes, which are not easy to hold in one hand, we're going to get almost half a litre of amazing zero waste lime cordial. After we've done that, I'm going to use this to make an amazing zero waste coffee cocktail, a spent coffee daiquiri. So let's do it. Welcome back to the Coffee Cocktail channel with me, Dan Fellows. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. It's all about coffee and cocktails and kind of bringing the two together in really interesting and creative ways. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, make sure you subscribe below and let's get into the video. So this recipe today is a zero waste lime cordial. And the amazing thing about this cordial is you can substitute it in anywhere you see a recipe that calls for lime juice and sugar syrup. So we've all been there, we've been squeezing lime juice and you've been left with loads of these little shells or husks. But after this video today, you'll never throw these away again. So for every lime, we usually get about 30 mils of juice. And this actually yields more like 90 to 100 mils of our finished cordial. So we're getting almost three times the yield as we would just juicing the limes. It's also pre-balanced, so you don't need to add too much sugar to it, if any. And we're going to get started with five limes. So five limes to make almost half a litre of cordial is very cool and a very high yield. But you're going to need a few things to do this. So first of all, we're going to need 200 grams of white castor sugar, which I've pre-weighed here. We're gonna need 15 grams of citric acid, which is completely food safe, really easy to get hold of, which I've pre-measured here. This is gonna bring balance and complement the kind of citrus already in the lime. And we're also gonna do three grams of malic acid. So malic acid is also found in limes as well as apples, and it brings that really kind of crisp acidity, which really cleans up the palate after you've tasted the drink. In terms of equipment, we're gonna need a lime juicer, just like this one, going to need a glass to juice our limes into, going to need some scales to measure our yields and our doses and all the different ingredients going in there. You're going to need a knife and a chopping board and also we're going to need some kind of things you'll probably already have. The first of all, a blender with a decent sized capacity. Going to need a couple of big bowls like these ones and a big sieve. And then finally, a nice clean bottle, ideally 500 mils or 500 grams with the funnel, so ready to go. So when we've made our cordial, we can whack it straight in the fridge or in a cocktail, which is what we're gonna to do today. So I'm gonna clear away a few bits and pieces and we're gonna make our cordial primarily in one of these big bowls. So first thing we wanna do, we wanna take our five limes, gonna cut them in half, remove the little uh, nubbin, stalk, pip, whatever you wanna call it. And then we're gonna juice them into the glass weighing how much juice we get. And the real beauty of this recipe is it just goes so far. So as you can see, half a lime gives us around about 15 mils, 15 grams of lime juice, which really isn't a lot. And by increasing this so much, we're able to get a much higher yield. Obviously that's very good for the planet, very good for our pockets with things being more and more expensive because we're getting our lime juice just to go a lot further. So that's given us just shy of 150 grams. We've got 148 nearly, which is just about fine. So it's pretty crazy that that's usually what you'd get from five limes. And we're gonna be getting this, which is pre-balanced and ready to go. So you can see the difference. We're gonna reserve the lime juice for later because that's gonna go into our cordial. And then what we wanna do is take all of these husks, chop them into four and whack them in this bowl. So. We're gonna weigh our husks just so we've got a reference point. So chop them this way twice into quarters, which I guess are eighths of a lime. And then we're gonna add them to the bowl and see what the weight is. I'd expect this to be around about 200 grams. So now we've got our chopped up lime husks or shells, whatever you wanna call them. This is almost exactly 200 grams, which is exactly what I expected. We're gonna go in with the dry ingredients. So first of all, 200 grams of plain white caster sugar, 15 grams of citric acid and three grams of malic acid. So a blend of acids bringing different characteristics and then we just want to give this a good mix together and make sure everything's fully mixed and all that lime is covered in the sugar and the acids. So if you're familiar with making oleosaccharum, this is a similar process. I've applied this to coffee as well to make coffee saccharum, which I'll link above. But this is going to give us a really nice kind of 
wet extracted liquid where all the moisture and oils from the lime have come out into the sugars and you'll be left after 18 to 24 hours I'd recommend with something that looks a little like this. So here we've got the limes chopped together mixed with the dry ingredients so the acids and the sugar left for around about 24 hours and you can see it's turned into basically a syrup which is pretty cool. So that's basically all the liquid from inside the husks. What we want to do is just bring this down a little bit with water. So we're going to add 200 grams. I'd recommend pretty much boiling water. The hotter it is, the easier it is to dissolve any remaining sugar. Going to really mix it down. And this combined with the lime juice is going to be the foundation of our cordial. So that's pretty much all dissolved already. Going to whack in, this is our lime juice. So this is from the original juicing process. So around about 150 grams, mix that together. And now we need our second bowl and our sieve. So what we're gonna do is pour this straight through the sieve, removing the husks, because we don't want all the husks in our cordial, but we do want some of them. So we can keep these inside the other bowl. There's a bit of back and forth here. Gonna whack this in the blender. You could actually strain it straight into the blender but that can get quite messy. And with hot water, you really don't want any problems. So I'm gonna pop that in there. And then what we do wanna do is blend back in 50 grams of our spent husks. So the reason for this is this is quite a thin liquid. What we wanna do is kind of recreate lime juice where you do get some of the little pieces of the lime coming through, but not too much. So obviously the pith and the husks are kind of bitter we want some really nice positive bitterness in there, but not to be overpowered by too much of that lime bitterness. So, got 50 grams of our husks in with everything else. Next thing you wanna do, give this a blend. And now we've got that, our lime cordial is complete. So, the last thing to do here I like to just pass it through the same sieve again, just to get rid of any remaining larger pieces. Takes on a little bit of flavor potentially, but just gives us a really smooth cordial, which is what we want. Grab our bottle, and then we just want to fill up the bottle. Putting that back over this bowl with our cordial. So to reiterate, you want five limes, juiced, and then the husks chopped into eight in total. So each half into four. Then we add our dry ingredients. So 15 grams of citric acid, three grams of malic acid, and 200 grams of sugar. Let this do its thing overnight, so around about 18 hours. Come back, add 200 grams of boiling water, add the lime juice, 50 grams of the husks, blend it all together, and then bottle after sieving. And you're left with this incredible zero waste lime cordial. So the spent coffee daiquiri. Technically it's a very simple drink with only two ingredients, but obviously there's a lot more going on in the ingredients we've added. So the first ingredient is our zero waste lime cordial, and the second is a spent coffee infused rum. So this is made by breaking up espresso pucks from the extraction process, so obviously something that you should be left over. Add in this at one to 10 ratio of spent coffee to rum. Mixing this together really well, allowing it to infuse to pick up all the flavor from the coffee pucks and then passing it through a paper filter. And we're left with this beautiful coffee scented rum. So this is gonna be the first ingredient. A daiquiri should be rum forward. So we're gonna go full 50 ml, double shot. Plenty of our coffee rum. And then to balance this, 35 ml of our zero waste lime cordial. So this is pre-balanced. And just like it works in a huge range of cocktails with lime and sugar, this can replace the lime and sugar in our daiquiri. Give this a really good shake over ice. Gonna give that a little break. And then we're gonna fine strain this into a frozen glass. So I'm gonna get that from the freezer. Very simple cocktail, two delicious ingredients all tying in really nicely together. Got acidity, sweetness, and bitterness. 
both in the rum, from the coffee, the rum itself, and our cordial. It's got an amazing texture. And then we're gonna finish off with a dehydrated lime garnish from when I had a few extra limes, so I dehydrated them. And there we have zero waste spent coffee daiquiri. Cheers. It's so tasty. Acidity, sweetness, bitterness, all in balance. You actually get more bitterness than perhaps you would in a regular daiquiri. I think blending in the husks is really nice because it gives it a really nice strong lime flavor. A little bit of the positive bitterness, but not too much. Texture's really good. It's freezing cold. Just delicious. So there we have two really cool recipes which really make ingredients that would otherwise go in the bin go much further and really be the stars of the show in a cocktail like this. If that's your kind of thing, make sure you subscribe below or here and make sure you stay tuned for more videos. So I'll see you soon. I'm gonna have a bit more of this. Cheers, have a good week.